Hello everyone. This video is about frozen pops. Now I call these the birthday cake frozen yogurt bars. And there's the mold. I got that at Timu for a uh, 99 cents, I think it was. And I also bought the popsicles, popsicle sticks at, on Timu. But very simple to make. Um, Here's what the popsicle sticks look like, but you could use the wooden ones. The mold has a hole. You can't tell, but uh, you put it through. It goes through two layers of the silicone into the, the mold itself. The technique for getting this so you cover your sticks on both sides is to put some yogurt mixture on the bottom and then put your stick in and then put the rest of your mixture on top of that. Simple, very simple. Here's the easy recipe. A cup of yogurt. I use the plain non-fat. I'm calorie counting. Um, I use a tablespoon of uh, vanilla pudding and pie mix sugar-free from Walmart. Great value. Those two ingredients and then here's my stand-in for a banana, not a slug. <laughs> this is a banana so you'll need a large banana. And that's the basic uh, ingredient list for the bar itself. Now, get fancy and add some ch baking chips for a little extra texture. Uh, I use two servings in this batch, and I think that's going to be a better. That's about what I used in my first one, actually. And then I garnished with a few extra chips. But these are also sugar-free, no sugar added. Um, stevia sweetened. And then I added a few extra drops of the sucralose, but you don't have to, that's not necessary. It's really how sweet you want it. And then I put a dash of uh, vanilla, not necessary, but I did it just to experiment this time to see what it would be like. So my procedure is, is chop your chips up, put them aside, put your bananas, put it in the blender, grinder, whatever, or smash it, get it really thoroughly smashed. And then, uh, in the meantime, mix your yogurt with your pudding mix. Get that whipped together. And then add it to your banana. You can put that in the blender and put it all together that way. Add your chips. And then you spoon it into your molds. Very simple. Very, very simple. And that's about, this is the product you're going to get. And then freeze it for two to three hours. And this has all been doing that, so it's ready to go. Easy to pop out of the mold. It's silicone. It's going to go, the stick is going to go through the entire mold out. So when you peel this up, you take your bar and uh, see how it's coming out of the mold. You just push your stick on through with it. And I'm going to bag these up into separate baggies or together, whatever. Um, I found a simple tool today for my, because this, you know, silicone is kind of flimsy or, you know, doesn't have a lot of stability at some point, and especially with your liquid contents. I used uh, this little cutting board from Dollar Tree to be my base so I could put it in my freezer as a little table for my mold. So, hey, that's a great idea for $1.25. Buy those just to help you. Do your ice cubes and everything else in the freezer so you know it stays level all right there you go those are the pops oh hope you enjoy it the banana to me helps with the texture immensely let it sit out a few um, minutes maybe to soften as to your liking because it can be pretty hard especially if you don't have the banana to add it's even harder yet the texture is changed by the banana but oh wishing you all the best enjoy this this is great for summer low calorie all right Bye-bye for now. So here's the, the bar. I took it out of the mold. I did pretty good. You can see the popsicle stick there, but uh, it's okay. I'm so excited. They're so delicious.